Good morning, everybody. Hope all is well today. It is November 2nd here in Wisconsin. Frosty, south central Wisconsin. It is definitely a chilly morning here. And well, I woke up today and something kind of popped into my head. First off, looking at all the frosty grass there. <laughs> And the roof of the house is covered in frost. So here's the thing, guys. I wasn't quite prepared for this, but we got up today, and it looks like I have a decent weather opening. Yes, it's gonna warm up here, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go down to the walk spot and try cranking out my half marathon in under four hours. If you watch this channel, you know that's been on my radar for a while now, and I think I got a decent opening today, but like I said, I wasn't quite mentally prepared for this because I did not plan this before I went to bed last night. So I got up, I filled a few things of water up, bringing a few extra pair of shoes with. I'm gonna stop and grab a couple snacks just in case I need some fuel maybe. But the big question is, can I crank out 13.1 miles in under four hours? It's gonna be a tough one guys, especially as I wasn't quite prepared for that today. So I'm at least gonna go and start with the thought that maybe I can do it today. And if I have to bail, I will. But anyway, guys, why don't you stick around, see if I can conquer this thing. But first, we gotta get this ice off the windshield, guys. All right, guys, we made it down. If you guys are regulars here, you know this place. It's my normal walking spot. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. Buffalo Lake out there. Walking path goes there, goes the other way, and there's a trail part that goes there and back. We will be looping through those three different ways. Each round trip is a half mile, so it's easy to keep track. Right here, the car will be my aid station. Every half mile I can stop back at the car, grab water, change shoes if I have to, more water here. These are the limited snacks I have. This half a marathon is sponsored by One Who Loves Rock and JD Concrete. JD Concrete just doesn't know about it. <laughs> and look at this, guys. We picked a nice, beautiful space to do 13.1 miles in under four hours. So here we are, guys. What do you think? Put it down below before we get into it. Can I do 13.1 miles in under four hours? It's gonna be a tough one, guys. But we'll get into that as I get going here. But for now, we gotta get ready. All right, guys, it's almost 9.25. All right, guys, here we go. We are taking off for mile number one. I am using an app called Map My Walk. It kinda keeps track of my pace, and it keeps track of my distance, and how long it takes and all that good stuff. The only problem is once in a while, it'll pause on me. So we can't have that happen today. Otherwise that will screw up this whole walk. We'll get more into the pace and stuff like that in a little bit, but basically I gotta walk at a pretty brisk pace and I gotta supplement with some short, easy jogs. Otherwise I will not make this 13.1 miles in under four hours. So can my body hold out for four hours doing that? I don't know, never tried it. I have held these paces for four or five miles in training and I have been able to do that, but this is quite a bit more. So that's why this is a challenge, and it is a real challenge. There's a good chance I might not finish. Now I gotta give myself breaks from talking because I do gotta fit in a couple short jogs here and there, and I gotta keep on working this pace. So what I'm doing here, guys, I kind of made up the name. I call it supplements. So I try keeping a pretty good pace at walking, but like I said, my pace is just not fast enough to finish in under four hours. So I simply do what I call a supplement. I take a short, like 10, 20 stride jog. I try keeping it very easy. I don't want to raise my heart rate too much. I want to keep it easy on my joints, but I do need that little supplement to make sure my pace is fast enough to finish this on time. I'll get around this pylon up here. Actually, let me show you. By the way, you. folks, we are down here at what I call the Montello Judge Bank. The Montello Dam is out there. This is a pylon we will turn around at. If I need a restroom, 
There's one right there. Here's a trail ahead. Two thirds of these paths I'm walking on are paved. One is kind of graveled as a hike. So basically let me show you right here. I just kind of crank out a nice light. One, two, nine, 10. Get back down to walking pace. Try not raising the heart rate too much. And just that little extra speed gets my pace to under 18 minute miles, which is where I need to be. And that is even without brakes. So I don't really have much time for brakes on this 13.1 mile walk. But what is the possibility if I do these first miles a little bit faster, I can get ahead of the clock. So I will have a little room if I need to slow down at the end of the 13.1 miles. But guys, this is all a crapshoot. I have not tried this before. But man, it is freaking gorgeous out here, guys. Barely any breeze. The lake is calm. I wish I had some better videography here, but it's just me and my phone and my hand, guys. I'm out here doing this by myself. Some of you guys, if you're new here, you're probably wondering, well, 13.1 miles in under four hours, that's not that hard, Joe. And I get it. And I probably should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but I have some reasons why it might be a little bit tougher for myself. I'll get to that in a second. Here. For me, guys, I usually don't like saying this kind of stuff because I don't want it to be my identity. But for the sake of a video like this, it's good for the audience to know. But anyway, I have a genetic heart condition. It is called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I have the apical version of that. Unfortunately, I also have an apical aneurysm. My heart also has 30 plus percent scarring. They call it significant scarring. I have an ICD in my chest. What is an ICD? Well, that is a pacemaker defibrillator. And that's not all, folks. I am in atrial fibrillation 24 seven, guys. So now you might understand why this 13.1 half marathon challenge in under four hours is definitely a challenge, at least for me. Beautiful Montello. We're taking the back trail here. It's a bit slick on that bridge. And again, like this, throw in a little bit of a supplement, just a light jog for a very short period of time, and then back off. Get back down your walking pace. Also a little something different for me. You've seen my snacks I brought there. It's basically beef and cheese, guys. I am doing this walk, 13.1 miles in under four hours, with zero carbs. Now you'll see when most people are doing longer distance kind of stuff, of course they fuel their bodies with carbs, which does make sense, obviously. But those of you that have been here for a while, and those of you that are new, well, I am mostly on a carnivore diet. I did partake in 15 carbs last evening with a non-alcoholic brew, but that was it. Only 15 carbs all day yesterday. I did not eat anything this morning before starting this. And like I said, it is now after 9.30. I probably got maybe three, 400 calories worth of food back there at my aid station, AKA Chevy Tracks. <laughs> so I'm not fueling this walk with carbs, guys. I will be fueling this walk with fat. Again, look at the beauty. Couldn't pick a better day. That's why we're out here, even though it wasn't planned. I thought I'd give it a shot today. If we complete it, awesome. We're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. We're still here in the first mile. I feel maybe a little too much excitement maybe, or maybe my pace is too fast here. I don't know, I gotta figure out a way and get more settled than I am right now. I've been talking a lot as well, so I think I'll take a break, try getting this first mile knocked out and settle down a bit. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Just got done with mile number one. I am going definitely too fast. I cranked out a 16.40 minute mile. That's definitely much faster than I need to be. I'm trying to keep it at around 18 or under, like high 17s. So, I just gotta take it easy before I screw myself here. Or, like I said earlier, do I get ahead of the clock 
in the beginning of the race here. And then I have a little extra at the back end of it. Regardless for now, I'll keep walking, keep adding in my short supplements here and there. <laughs> I just told the guy walking by that I was trying to do a half marathon in under four hours. He didn't seem that interested, guys. <laughs> Hence why I'm out here doing this stuff by myself, guys. Because I'm the one interested, and that's all that matters, right? Kind of interesting. My normal walking pace is kind of 19-ish minute miles. But unfortunately, if I walked at that pace, it would take me about four hours and 10, four hours and 15 minutes to finish the 13.1 half marathon. Now you would think knocking that 10 or 15 minutes off wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's harder than you think, guys. If my general walking pace is like 19, 19 and a half, pushing it up to under 18, that's quite a bit harder than you think. So to get under the four hours, not only are you knocking your pace down maybe one and a half minutes per mile, you're also trying to knock off 10 or 15 minutes. It becomes a little bit more difficult than you kind of anticipate, if any of that made sense. I'm not sure it even made sense to myself. It all comes down to basic math, guys. So that's what we did out here, guys. We did some simple math to figure out the pace we need to finish this 13.1 miles in under four hours. I would like to say it would be pretty cool if I can knock this challenge out today. It has been on my radar for a while now. At least the half marathon has been on my radar. Finishing under four hours is kind of a new situation I thought of. The reason I came up with that is I was kind of looking around the area. I was looking at half marathon races. I thought maybe I'll just go to a race and participate. And a lot of them had cutoffs. A lot of the half marathon races, the cutoffs were like three, three and a half hours. And I know I can't do it that fast. But I did find a couple races that had a four hour cutoff. So that's how I came up with the four hours for this. I thought, you know what? That's a possibility. If I push kind of hard, there's a chance I could do it under four hours. So I didn't go to a standard race, obviously. I am out here doing at my normal walking spot. Judge Bank, Buffalo Lake, Montella, Wisconsin, guys. Kind of convenient here. I don't have to carry nothing with me. I got the car parked down there with water and snacks. Change of shoes if I want. So that'll be my aid station. And we are good to go. Hopefully good enough to knock this thing out. And there's plenty of geese out here today rooting me on. Just hit two miles, guys. Still going faster than I need to be going. Still rocking 16.3 minute miles. I do not need to be going that fast. But again, maybe it'll help me out at the back end of the race. I don't know why I'm calling it a race. I am not racing against anybody but the clock. So I guess it is kind of a race. I'm so happy Montello created this trail. It has been a nice addition out here. Definitely appreciate it. I wish we had even more of this kind of stuff around here. Just listening to all the trumpet players out there. Dennis Shrimp would be proud. <laughs> Not too many years ago, you could actually drive up and down this road, Sunset Drive. It was kind of like a downtown bypass, I guess. <laughs> because like you know, we have horrendous traffic here in big old Montello, guys. Here's a fun fact. A lot of you might know, a lot of you might not, but here in Marquette County, where Montello is, we have the only stoplight in the whole county, guys. One stoplight in Marquette County. It's right over here in downtown Montello. The magical three miles is coming up. Hold on a second, guys. Time, 50 minutes, one second. Total distance, 3.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 40 seconds per mile. So there you have it. This last mile was a bit slower at 17 minutes. It brought my walking average up to 16.4 minutes per mile, which is still well under where I need to be. So, so far so good after three miles. After three miles here, I'm gonna take a little break from you guys. I might throw on a podcast, try getting more settled into this race here. And I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Almost at four miles, folks, but I did forget to mention something earlier. I talked about doing this with zero carbs 
basically on a carnivore type diet. I forgot to mention what I'm drinking. And what I'm drinking for this is just plain old water. That's it guys. We're not using electrolytes. We're not using any Gatorades or anything like that. Just straight up high quality H2O and that's it guys. Seeing I got you guys out here, I'll just let this thing roll. We will get the four mile checkup. See where our pace is at. Dent, 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 dent. Time, one hour, six minutes, 49 seconds. Total distance, 4.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 42 seconds per mile. As you can see, I got this mapped up. I basically end every mile at the car. Five miles in, guys. My walking pace is still at 16 some minutes per mile, so we're still pretty good ahead of schedule. Banking some time, I guess, for the end here. And this might be where it starts getting hard because I'm used to doing this. Well, not quite at 16 minutes. I'm not used to that. That's new, and here I am doing it when I'm trying to do 13.1, but hopefully it works out in the end. But I've been out here, I've been doing 17 and a half minute miles for five or six miles a couple times but never past that as you can see i'm a little bit more winded so we will see how it goes from here i'm suspecting this is where it's going to start getting harder and harder five and a half miles in stopped at the car grabbed a little bit of meat and cheese for a little snack i think it's about 11 o'clock first meal of the day down here at the judge bank in montello Especially when it's calm like this, it can get kind of toasty down here. It is a very good spot to get your vitamin D if you want it. Even though it's only about 58 degrees a day, I'm sure it's not even close to that yet, but it still feels warm to me. I'm a bit heat sensitive usually. Like I'm in a t-shirt. I've been in a t-shirt for a while already and I'm even sweating a bit. So far my pace has been well over a minute per mile faster than what I was shooting for. So we're a little ahead of the game at this point and we'll see if we can keep that up or if i will back off towards the end but we still throw in these short light jog supplements just to keep that pace where it needs to be just like that quick and to the point get back to walking time one hour 40 minutes 47 seconds total distance 6.0 miles average pace 16 minutes 47 seconds per mile keep on keeping on guys six miles down almost to the halfway mark once i finish this loop there back around and back that's a half mile we will be halfway folks gotta say that little snack hit the spot back there do want to say a little something sometimes people that hear that i'm doing something like this doing a half marathon even though i have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy i have significant scarring and i am in atrial fibrillation 24 7. they might say i don't know if you should be doing that joe and i always tell people you know what i would rather get out here and die on the trail then live my life on a couch. And that's just the way it's gonna be. I mean, what else should I be doing? Sitting on the couch at home, watching politics? <laughs> no thanks, guys. Instead, we're getting up, we're getting our asses out here and trying to kick ass every day. That's what we're doing. When I say we're, I mean me. I don't know why I talk like that. But maybe we should also mean you. Get your asses up off the couch, guys. Get out, get outside. Put some miles in, do whatever you gotta do. Just don't live your life on the damn couch. I personally have all the excuses in the world I could use to sit on a couch, but I'm not gonna do that. I actually use all these conditions as an excuse that I need to get up off the couch. Otherwise, I'm just gonna fade away and die. And who knows, I still might die out here doing something like this, but at least I'm living, if that makes any sense. Get down there to the car. We will be halfway, folks. Just like that. Actually went pretty quickly. We'll see how the second half goes. I don't know why, but pushing the six and a half mile mark here, I feel a bit of an energy boost. So we will take that and put it to good use. Maybe it was the meat sticks, right? Yeah. All right, guys. 
Back to some basic math. We are at our 6.5. We did that in one hour and 49 minutes. So to make it simple math, we will round that up to one hour and 50 minutes. So if I keep this current pace, just double that time, we would finish at three hours and 40 minutes, give or take a little bit. So at this current pace, I have 20 minutes to spare. That's a lot, guys. So I can slow down here if I want. I probably will slow down a bit here. And we'll just keep cranking, keep an eye on the average pace and see how it goes. Thanks for staying tuned, guys. Let's knock this thing out. Oh yeah, by the way, this little path here, it is now part of the famous Ice Age Trail that runs a thousand plus miles throughout Wisconsin here. The Ice Age Trail uses the yellow blazes. They just put them up like a week ago. Now it's not much, maybe a quarter mile through here on the trail part, but it does, I think, weave through town. They consider that part of the trail. Part of the reason I'm out here doing stuff like this is basically my whole life running a marathon was always on my bucket list. I used to do a good amount of running back in my late 20s, I think, early 30s. That was before the old ticker started giving me issues, but I've never lost that. I've always loved the idea of long distance running and stuff like that. Sometimes life changes those plans for you. So I'm out here improvising. In recent years, ultra running has become quite popular. That's where these people are running 50 mile races, 100 mile races. And I watch a lot of that stuff on YouTube. It's very inspiring. And I am sometimes jealous, wishing that I could get out there and do that. But instead, this 13.1 with my condition, well, that's not easy. It's a hard challenge. So even though I can't do those real long distances, especially in the time allotted they give you, I come out here, I make challenges for myself and see if I can accomplish them because I still want to push the envelope as far as I can. I'm not necessarily into being the average Joe guys. <laughs> Stop at the old aid station here. Whew. We're making quick stops, guys. Total distance, 7.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 51 seconds. All right, guys, we're at 16.51 minutes per mile. Still way ahead of my pace that I need to be. I could be at 18 and be fine. So I see we're doing well. We're over halfway. I'm not feeling too bad the way I'm going. I'm gonna kind of keep it up a little bit. Maybe we'll finish a bit early. Why the hell not, right? I should probably knock on wood, actually. <laughs> we got a ways to go yet, guys. Beautiful, sunny. The breeze is picking up a bit, but I'm surprised. There's not a few more people out here enjoying what we got here in Montel. Time, two hours, 14 minutes, 35 seconds. Total distance, 8.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 49 seconds per mile. Wow, can't believe it. Still sitting at 16.5 minutes per mile. That's a lot better than I expected, guys. Five more of these bad boys to go. Now, according to my basic math, I could probably stop throwing in those supplement runs if I want to. And I could even probably slow down my walk pace. But at the moment, even at eight miles in, I'm feeling pretty decent here. So I'm kind of gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe try backing off a little bit here. After all, five more miles, there's no slouch. We still gotta make sure we finish this thing. Well guys, as you can see, the breeze is picking up a bit out here. I brought these shoes fully aware I wasn't going to change them, but I brought them anyway. 9.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 52 seconds per also, mile. Also, at the end of this video, I do have a surprise with those shoes. So I would stay tuned for that, guys. So we're nine miles into this thing. Like I said, breeze is picking up. It's not too hot now with that breeze. Probably almost perfect conditions. So 
It's looking good, guys. Total distance, 10.0 miles. Average pace, 16 minutes, 54 seconds per mile. Still at 16 and a half, guys. Going strong. Gonna celebrate 10 miles with another snack, guys. Meat and cheese. Gotta keep moving. How long you got yet? Just hit 10 miles. Okay. All right. Thanks for the support. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys that watch this channel, you recall, I did the 420 challenge back in April. And the last time I walked 10 miles was on April 20th, which was 420. The 420 challenge, that was where I went out on four mile walks. And I did that for 20 days in a row, no matter what happened. Unfortunately, on the third day of that challenge, my mom passed away. As you can imagine, that was kind of hard to deal with. At the same time, I did promise myself I would do that challenge no matter what. And I still went out every day and got those four miles in. So basically, since April 1st, when I started that challenge, I've been walking ever since. So we're like seven months in. And I try not fooling around when I'm out here walking. I try getting some legit miles in. I'm shooting for four, five, six miles per walk if possible. Of course, that gets hard when you're trying to get other crap done, right? At the same time, all last fall and winter, my breathing just hasn't been up to snuff. Literally basically felt like I was dying. So came to the point where I had to kick my butt in gear or at least die trying. I almost bit the dust about three years ago, COVID or COVID pneumonia, whatever the heck it was. And I haven't been the same since. And my heart didn't love that situation either. So we're out here trying to survive, guys. That's what we're doing. That's why I mentioned earlier, yeah, it would be easy to become a couch potato, but that's not gonna happen. That will not keep you alive. Well, it might keep you alive, but it won't keep you living. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Sorry for that short rant, guys. Let's get back to finish this thing up. 11.0 miles, average pace, 17 minutes, one second per mile. Wow, up to 17 just from that one slow mile. Yikes, better keep her in gear, guys. I didn't expect the average pace to go from 16.5 to 17 in one mile. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm perfectly fine at that. I anticipated being around 17.8, 17.9, even up to 18 for this challenge. So 17 is still way faster than what I anticipated. That being said, I've been getting consistent readings of 16.5. So I might add a little extra oomph for mile 11 here. See if I can get that back below 17, back into the 16. Also another reason to do that is we're coming up on mile 12. So it'll be the last mile. And I do gotta do something before I take off on the last mile. That is a surprise. You guys should stick around and wait and see. You know what guys? Doing this kind of stuff is fun. Ain't gonna lie. Got the place to myself down here right now. Time, three hours, 24 minutes, 11 seconds. Total distance, 12.0 miles, average pace. 17 minutes per mile. Slowing down, but it doesn't feel like I'm slowing down. That's okay. We're at what, three hours and 24 minutes? And I only got one more mile to go. I'm gonna shatter this challenge. But we're gonna stop at the car. We're gonna waste a little time here as this is a surprise for the last mile, guys. Hold on one second. All right, guys. We got these crusty New Balance shoes. Me and these shoes have logged on 100s of miles together. So it's only fitting I put these shoes on for the last mile before I finally retire these things for good. These have been the new kids on the block. They got me the 12 miles I needed. But these bad boys are gonna take me home. Last stretch, last mile for these guys, at least in my walking world here. Holkas, pretty good chew. We're wasting time, guys. But like I said, I got plenty of time here. 
can't believe how fast I'm going to finish this 13.1. Me and the trusty old New Balance. We're going to go finish this thing out, guys. One more mile. Now, I'm kind of wondering before we get going here. Well, I'm going already, but do I make the last mile, the fastest mile of this whole race? Or do I take it nice and leisurely? Because I got plenty of time to finish. I think you guys already know the answer to that question. Let's go get it. Here we go. One last mile. 13.1 miles in under four hours by a lot. Can't believe it. Stay tuned, guys. We're almost to the end of this thing. Give it up to my beautiful backdrop today for the challenge. It was a very nice day today. No complaints out here. <laughs> Can't believe I just caught that on camera. That was kind of cool. Check it out, guys. Final stretch. We're almost done with this thing. I don't think it's going to be my fastest mile, guys, but I was working it pretty hard here. Me and the new balance for their final stretch. Time, 3 hours, 41 minutes, 49 seconds. Total distance, 13.0 miles. Average pace, 17 minutes, 3 seconds per mile. There you have it, guys. Let's make sure I get that point one to add it on here. But that's gonna about do it, guys. Hold on one second here. That's it, guys. 13.1 miles, three hours, 43 minutes, I believe is what it said. Challenge complete, challenge accomplished. Well, guys, goes to show, sometimes things might look a little bit harder than they are. Not saying that wasn't hard, but I seriously had a doubt that I could finish it in under four hours. Well, we finished it three hours and 43 minutes. So we beat it by 16, 17 minutes. That's pretty freaking good for a challenge like this. I kind of like the setup down here at the Drudge Bank. Nice and flat, nice and easy. A lot of paved stuff, a nice flat gravel trail. I use the car as my aid station for water and snacks. On that note, guys, if you made it this far in a video, what the heck is wrong with you guys? But I do appreciate it if you watch this far. Feel free to hit the subscribe button or the like button. I rarely ask for that. It does help the channel. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's been fun. I appreciate your time. But we will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.